Okay, this is the first test of the 1967 442 400 cubic inch W30 distributor that we just restored. And uh, we're going to do a preliminary test according to the shop manual. So we got the dwell set pretty close to 30. It bounces around a little bit. The RPM is 50 times 4, which is 200. And my other meter um, dwells a little higher here. RPM times 4, the same thing. It's about pretty close. So we're about to dwell. It shows a little higher on this thing. But anyhow, we got the arrow pointer right to zero, or 360 degrees. And we're at 50 RPM, which times four, which is 200. So going to the first test, we should get zero to two degrees advance at 400 RPM. So that means we're gonna bring this up to 100, which would be 400 RPM, and we'll see what kind of advance we got. Distributor has already been oiled. Okay, we're dwells right on 30. We're at 100 RPM here. Let's see what kind of advance we got. Sure looks like about two degrees. Dwell on the other meter. We'll check the RPM again. Now it's showing a little variation here, 98, so, but still close, 98 times 4. Okay. You could, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, here we got all the eight cylinders. And even here, so looking at this cylinder, it's kind of hard to see, but it's showing about two degrees. Same thing up here, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put on the dwell flash just to show that. So the dwell flash now, you can see all that. But basically it's showing how much dwell we got between, so that's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So there's 30 degrees of dwell between each point. Then you go to the next one, the same thing. And that's a dwell flap feature right here. You turn that off. Okay, so that concludes the first part of the test. I'm going to stop here for a minute. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second part of the test for centrifugal advance. And that's at 900 RPM, we should have 6 to 8 degrees of centrifugal advance. So on my calculation, that would be 225.4. So here we are with 30 again, pretty much 30 dwell, 100 RPM. We want to go up to 225. We're going to go slow. Although the electronics are new on this machine, the uh, belts and stuff are pretty much original. Okay, 225 times 4, that's 900 RPM. Dwells off a little bit. How much advance we got here? Ooh, let's keep it straight. So we got 5... Let's see. Here's 0, here's 5, about 8 degrees. So what does it call for? 900 RPM, 6 to 8 degrees. Okay, we're doing good. We got a pretty steady flash. I put the dwell flash on again. And we're 
are doing pretty good there. Okay, 12 flash off. I'm going to stop again so we can go to the next step. Okay, now we're going to go to the third part of the test on the centrifugal advance. Uh, once 2,000 RPM, we should get 10 to 12 degrees centrifugal advance at 2,000. So we're going to run this thing up to 500, which is times 4. about 2037 with 502 RPM. We got some point bounce here a little bit. But we are 510 or 1213. So you can see we get we get a little bit of point bounce. So we're going to stop. Turn the glove flash off. That's what happens with a point distributor. We're going to get this down to 200 RPM again. Bouncing around uh, 30, 31 right now. Let's readjust that again. These are new points, so I believe they were new points. They came with the distributor. See the points here. There they are. Okay. Now what we want to do is try we're gonna try the vacuum advance now. Okay. So on this distributor. Okay, should have at um, 15 and a half to, all right, from, okay, it should start at six to eight inches of vacuum. It should start moving. So let's see where we're at here. So we're, we're back at zero. Let's turn the vacuum pump on. says 
six to eight inches of vacuum and you start moving. I'm going to try to see if I get this. Need to squeeze the hose a little bit. That's kind of... But anyhow, at um, four inches of vacuum, we're still at zero. So let's... Try to get this old gauge up to about six. Still zero, bouncing around six. So we're starting at about seven, we're starting to get a degree of advance. Okay. And it tells us here also, uh, at nine inches of vac, we should, at, I'm, I'm sorry, at 15 and a half to 19 inches of vacuum, we should get nine degrees of vance. So let's go up to 15. And what do you know? We're about, we're about eight degrees of vance. I'll go up to 19. Boy, we're right there. We got nine degrees of vance with 19 inches of vacuum. I'm gonna try to get this thing to settle down a little bit. Go back down to five, approximately five. We're right back to zero. So there we are. That's the first test.